Hello there, my beautiful friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful and excited to have each and every one of you here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now, Spirit has called me to do a collective reading for all of you. So if you're entering this space, you were actually called to be here today. I don't know if it was the thumbnail or the title of this reading that has drawn you in but there's a reason there's a message that you're meant to hear today now normally I will when I do my morning meditation I ask spirit for a message or a theme around the readings that I'm doing and today they were saying you know what the messages are going to come through the cards there is no theme there is no message around it other than what's going to come through that is going to be the overall message so again there's a reason why you're here you're meant to hear whatever is going to come through these cards today now what I'm going to do for you is open your reading with a oracle card from the guardian angel oracle deck I'm then going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a bonus card now spirit got me to use this deck which I've never used before this is called into the lonely woods all right I'm then going to pull three personal messages for you so this is where I ask you to pause the video take a deep breath connect to spirit and then come back to receive these messages I'm going to close off with an angel number so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit wants to share with you all right, so we are getting for you today. It's time. Look at that. It is time, everyone. I'm going to read you the message here. You are here to make a difference in the world. And it's through your actions that you can shape and influence time. Be brave, be resolute, and step forward with confidence. So once again, you are here to make a difference in the world. And it's through your actions that you can shape and influence time. Be brave, be resolute, and step forward with confidence. It's time for you to step forward with confidence, those of you that are watching. I feel some of you are wanting to do something in your life. I don't know what this is. This is maybe to create a dream or a desire in your reality. And right now, Spirit is showing you that it's now time to do that. Okay? Now, what they're showing me in my mind's eye here is someone being chased. Um... Or maybe this is a dream that you've had recently where you are feeling like you're being chased by someone and they're showing me a labyrinth, a maze. Perhaps you're running through a maze feeling like you're being chased or it feels like you're being chased but there's no one really chasing you. I don't know if any of you are feeling this energy uh, but it's definitely coming through and they're showing me a jaguar or perhaps this is a leopard in my mind. Okay, so your first card is King of Swords. All right, this is mastery. This is what I'm getting here. There's an expansion happening in your consciousness. There's a lot of access to wisdom, knowledge, and this is where spirit is wanting you to expand your mind, everyone, to learn as much as you can to master something in your life. It's time for you to step forward, okay, with what it is that you know, something that you're good at. All right, there's something that you're really good at here. Those of you that are watching, something that you're meant to strengthen. This is a gift. This is a talent. We all have it. All we have to do is access it. And once we've accessed it, we have to develop it. We have to master it. And I feel some of you are being called to do just that. So this is the King of Swords. We have justice coming in. So justice Justice is being served. I'm getting a karmic energy. I'm getting cycles here in the midst of this energy as well. I'm seeing a lot of cycles coming and going. Some of you are closing old chapters of your life. Some of you are weighing your options around, you know, what, what it is that you've kind of um, experienced in your life. What are the goods? What are the bads? And how you're going to move forward. Okay, this is how justice is going to be served in some of your lives. This is a really interesting card. It's also a major arcana card. Being a major arcana card, this energy is going to be prominent in your life. However, it tends to be in the background. So some of you are going to feel this energy intensely, while others you're going to feel this subtly. All right. And next we are getting Six of Swords. 
moving into a place of peace and tranquility. Some of you, this is all you're seeking is peace and calm in your life. You're done with the drama. You're done with the things that once used to hurt you, that used to create anxiety within you, that you used to stress about. This could be people, this could be things, this could be situations, circumstances, whatever these are. I feel like you're leaving them behind and you're moving forward with your life. And there's a lot of peace, there's a lot of calm coming in. Okay, so that's the Six of Swords energy for you. Now, I want you to use your own intuition with my reading today. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Now, this is going to strengthen your intuition, but you are also going to receive your own messages. All right, so those of you that are seeing the numbers 14, the number 11, and the number 6, these are all coming in as confirmations of this reading for you today. Okay, now some of you are seeing 11, 11 on a clock. I feel a lot of us see many of 11, 11s, right? There's other angel numbers that are also coming through. I feel these are signs that some of you are awakening, especially if you're seeing them more than normal. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also share this message message with someone that might need to hear it. All right. So it's now time for you to start moving forward. It's time for you to make a decision to commit to something that is important for you. Something that maybe has been put on the back burner even. I feel you have a desire, you have a goal, perhaps you haven't reached it. Maybe you're thinking about how you want to reach it. It's now time for you to reach it. It's now time for you to put the steps and the action into reaching these goals, these desires, these dreams. This is ultimately what Spirit is asking you to do here. So you are gaining wisdom right now. This king is holding a book. They've got an owl. They're holding a sword. So there's a lot of clarity. Through this clarity, is coming wisdom, right? That's through the owl. So some of you might be seeing owls around you. This is a symbol of wisdom, of knowledge. This is also messages being communicated to you through spirit, through the universe, through loved ones that have passed on, ancestors, right? And even beyond that, into the spiritual realm and uh, further on from that as well. Mastery. This king has learned to master what it is that their craft is, right? Their talents, their life, whatever this is for you. So I want you to take a look at this image here and see what you feel this card is trying to tell you. All right. So the king is someone that has weathered a lot of storms. They have come to this place to sit on this throne to claim victory, their place in the world. I feel some of you are trying to do this as well. You're trying to find your purpose, your way. You know, why are you here? What's the purpose of me being here? You're being given the answers here through the energy of the King of Swords. So communication and connection to spirit is really important. The things that are creating noise in your life are the things that you want to release away from your life. Right now, we're entering a very transformative time in the world. Now, 2025 is going to be the year of the snake in Chinese astrology. It's also the year number nine in numerology. We have a lot of completions that are happening, a lot of shedding of energies, right? A very transformative time. And with the King of Swords, I feel there's a lot of information that is going to be coming up for you through the depths through deep down somewhere within the shadows, right? And some of you have mastered working with your shadows. These are old, deep wounds I'm picking up on that are surfacing. And um, I feel this is coming through the Six of Swords. It's the energy of the moon, right? So I'm, that's what I'm picking up on here. I'm like, why is this coming into the King of Swords here? Where is this coming from? And because the King of Swords is in the nighttime hours, right? So we have a quiet, subtle energy here. It's definitely shifting. You are shedding energies. You are also coming into your own. You're becoming this truer version of yourself, but it's happening again, subtly and softly. Spirit doesn't want you to rush anything here. They want you to take in the knowledge. They want you to absorb whatever information and communication is coming in for you through whatever it is that you're experiencing. Now, because this person is holding a sword, I'm getting a reflective energy here. Through clarity, I feel you're going to see what is being reflected back to you through the universe, through your reality. And through that reflection, you're going to receive information. You're going to receive communication on how you need to change maybe certain patterns or things that you are currently doing in your life in order to um, 
readjust things in order for them to align to your desired reality. This is coming in again um, through this card. You are here to make a difference in your world and it's through your actions that you can shape and influence time. It's through your actions. So spirit is gifting you with knowledge right now and that knowledge is something that you're meant to apply through your actions, okay? Very powerful stuff that is happening here. Those of you that have wanted clarity around a decision that you're trying to make, clarity around a path, maybe a purpose around something specific, this communication is being delivered to you. Again, through your life's experience. Now, if you're seeing numbers around you, search Google or chat GPT, ask for the spiritual meaning of those numbers. Take a look at which meaning resonates for you in that experience, in that time that you're looking for those numbers. I'm also getting a lot of animals coming in. So um, we got in these images here, there are no animals in this. So what I was actually seeing was a squirrel in my mind's eye. I was also seeing a leopard or a jaguar, right? Chasing, I don't know if this was chasing you, but I felt like someone was being chased. Again, that's coming up. And the labyrinth, the maze. Some of you might be seeing Mandela's around you. Some of you might be experiencing the Mandela effect where something seemed like it was one thing, but it's actually something else. It feels like some sort of a timeline was erased. Okay, there's a lot of different things that are happening here. So what I'm getting is someone that has come out of a maze. They have mastered how to get through the maze and come out the other side. You have the wisdom, you have the knowledge, you have the history, you have the memory. So again, this access to this ancient wisdom is what I'm getting. So I don't know if any of you are looking into literature that has to do with history. Perhaps you're looking into uh, the Mandela effect. Perhaps you're looking into the law of attraction, manifestation, how the universe works, how this matrix works that we live in, right? Those of us that believe we're in a matrix, I feel we're in some sort of uh, somewhat of a matrix. And, and what I feel is it's a spiritual matrix. And those of us that are awake and aware, depending on where in your spiritual growth you are in, in your awakening, um, and we're always incrementally awakening and gaining knowledge and information, awareness around the reality that we actually live in. There is incremental changes that are happening in the way that you're perceiving your world. Now, you can actually take control of how you choose to experience your life, how you choose to experience your reality through the way that you perceive your world. This is also through a mindset shift. Now, I have created a 14 day mindset challenge ebook. You can find this in the link in the description box below. It's everything that I do in my own life that I wanted to share with you, everything that I do to keep myself aligned to my desires, right? So you can find this again in the description box below. It's $11.11, .11, okay? It's 50 pages of information. Um, but ultimately, it's all about your mindset, the way that you can reprogram yourself. And how do you reprogram yourself? It's by clearing out your mind, creating space for spirit to connect with you, to give you the wisdom, the guidance to navigate on your journey, right? And when our awareness heightens is when we start to see the signs, where we start to um, come up with ideas, solutions to the problems that we're experiencing in our life. And through you practicing clearing your mind, uh, implementing new habits, right? That's the other thing that's coming up is through the justice card is shifting the way that you go about your life, your day-to-day -day life. Some of you are making choices and decisions that are actually working against your desired reality. So right now, Spirit is asking you to learn to master a different way of living, a different uh, habit. And they're not asking you to shift everything all at once, but they are asking you to change one small thing at a time. These are patterns and habits that you have within yourself. So perhaps you're feeling like you're being chased in a maze and you're not able to find your way out. You're exhausted. Um, it's scary. There's a lot of anxiousness, worry, these kind of feelings that come through. So they're wanting you to, again, release the weight of that pressure of being chased. Like it just, it's really interesting how um, Spirit is showing me this. It's like the person's exhausted and it's like, where, where's my way out? How can I find my way out? But there's panic there as well. So you want to release these emotions. Again, create that calm, that inner calm, that peace within yourself, which is coming through the Six of Swords again, right? So justice here is coming through. This is a weighing and balancing of things. And I feel some of you are maybe taking a look at your life or a specific area of your life to see, okay, what is benefiting me right now? What is it that I need to look at in order to make changes in my life Right now, I feel things are even for you, or perhaps um, they feel like they're even. And when you actually look at this image, 
One uh, bucket here is holding flowers, the other is holding fruit. They, don't, they shouldn't be balanced because the fruit would be heavier than the flowers, but for some reason these are balanced here in this image. This woman is holding a sword. This king is holding a sword. This woman here is holding six swords. So focus and clarity are key here. This woman has learned how to master her thoughts, her mind. She's like, there's no way that I'm going to allow these thoughts or things that work against my desires get in the way of what I'm trying to do in my life. This is her justice period. This is where this realization and awareness sets in and we understand, okay, this is what I have to do in order to create what it is that I'm trying to create or experience in my life. It's so, so important. And what I'm getting here is some some sort of a fruitful outcome something that is working in your favor i'm getting karmic cycles um karmic experiences coming in now what i'm getting is a rebirth energy here i'm also getting somebody that's in your life right now those of you that are watching that's a karmic relationship and there's something happening here within that karmic relationship um, I feel balancing is happening here. Maybe things feel like they're all over the place with a relationship with somebody. Um, it's all going to settle down, but you need to release control and not try to force the outcome is what Spirit is saying here. Those of you that are in a situation where you're trying to control it, you're trying to balance things out, they want you to surrender it and allow yourself to flow with what's happening and everything will work itself out, okay? The other thing is justice is being served. We are seeing this around the world right now, especially with the whole P. Diddy thing. I feel that's a can of worms that just was opened and there's way more to come with that. Um, I feel that some of us are experiencing these energies in our own lives, however they're showing up for you, but I feel some of you are meant to speak up. Some of you are meant to speak your truth and this is where you're really going to release and free yourself to stand in your power, to take action against something that is not right. This is the other thing that's coming up with this. Stand for something that allows you to be free or allow others to be free because your voice needs to be heard. Maybe it might change something. I don't know right? That's coming through. They also want you to stand your ground. They want you to have some healthy boundaries up, especially around people that mistreat you, especially toxic relationships. I feel a lot of you are going to release energies. You're going to realign yourself with people that uplift your energy, that are more of a soul tribe, people that understand you and that are resonating with your spiritual path. So I'm getting a, a soul energy, the soul connection coming in. All right. And I don't know what this outcome is. I feel some of you are looking for some sort of an outcome or a result in something and there's a lot of pressure that you're putting on yourself or perhaps I'm getting like courthouse paperwork contracts coming in. I'm also getting something to do with a speeding ticket for some of you. I don't know why these are all coming in but there's a lot of pressure like it feels like things are piling up and maybe they might feel off balance. Right? Maybe this is where it's, it's like a scale that I'm seeing here and I'm getting the sign of Libra coming in. I'm also getting the sign Virgo popping in here and the sign Scorpio is now popping in as well. So there's something from beneath the surface that is rising that might be shaking up the balance of your life. These could be old wounds. These could be things that are shadows. I'm getting shadow surfacing here. Now, as these things surface for you, emotions, whatever this is, they're wanting you to balance it out. They want you to hold strong, ground your energy and work with what it is that you're experiencing. Channel it into something that is productive, that is benefiting you rather than trying to fight it or trying to control it. Okay, there's many ways that we can learn to work with these energies. You can look up Google or search YouTube on how to work with your shadows. Some of you are already doing shadow work right now. Shadow work is coming through the Justice card. Know that there's something very powerful, something really big that is happening in your life that is going to change the trajectory of your life. Right now, as we enter this new year, there are cycles that are closing. And within these cycles closing, there is this sense of... Um, closure, like real closure for you. It's almost like you're, you're, you're satisfied with the outcome and you're closing the chapter. You are coming to terms with it and you're closing the chapter and putting away and allowing yourself to move forward and past whatever this energy is. Okay. And as you do that, there's a lot of peace and calm. Okay, I'm getting a lot of peace and calm coming into your life, releasing what used to bother you. So in this image, this woman has 
one sword that she's holding forward. She's gained clarity. She understands, okay, this is what I need to do in order to move forward, in order to see peace and calm in my life. And whatever once used to bother her, she has it behind her, right? It's not that she has released it and completely let gone of it. It's more so she has learned to work with it. It's now become her power. And know that whatever it is that you're going through in your life, this is a part of your evolution. This is where you are growing, you're learning, right? And those of you that are watching this reading today, you have you have come far um, in life, like you have to give yourself credit, right? Everything happens for a reason and purpose and you're being led right now by this unforeseen force, right? It's this person who is behind her and you can't see this person and maybe you can't even sense it, but you are being guided. Now, for some of you, this might feel like a darker entity, a darker energy, but that's not what it is. I feel it's more of an unseen spirit. Perhaps you're working with a deity. Perhaps you're working with, you know, uh, an ascended master. And it's your guiding light. Perhaps you've been going to church. Perhaps you've been baptized recently. I feel there is this renewal, this cleansing that has happened within this energy of the Six of Swords right? We have a lot of growth. We have a lot of healing in this card as well. Some of you are on a healing journey and there's a quietness to it, a subtlety to this. And I feel some of you are meant to actually move away from all of the noise in your life in order to heal. And, you know, maybe this is you having to disappear for a little bit to work on yourself, just to get away from all of that noise, to be in a place of solitude for a little while. Now, some of you might feel like you're already in a place of solitude. Perhaps you're feeling like you're lonely, you're on this journey, and maybe nobody understands you. Maybe no, no one understands what it is that you're going through. Perhaps you try to explain it to people and they just don't get it. And I feel that everyone's on their own journey right? You are on your own unique journey. And what's happening here is they're wanting you to get to know yourself better. They want you to actually work on all the things that you're meant to work on that are rising up and creating this, um, I feel, disturbance in your life, which is being, again, projected into your reality and being reflected back to you, right? So right now you're being given an opportunity to create the balance, create the peace and calm that you are desiring in your life. And that starts from within, okay? That starts from within. And once you have that clarity, you're able to drive that energy forward and create what it is that you desire, all right? And perhaps you have someone in your life that is supporting you right now. Because we have another energy here in this card, I do feel there is someone in your physical form that may be supporting you, giving you a lot of love. And the number six is a, an energy of love in numerology. It's also a card, uh, or sorry, a number of expansion, right? Connection. I feel this connection is between you and spirit. There is this um, boundary perhaps you thought you had that was blocking you from you and the universe, but that's thinning out and evaporating. So you're going to have full access and connection to spirit. And they're showing you the way. Okay, so... Um, I'm getting fear here as well. They want you to release the fear. Fear is only a, an illusion. It's not real. Okay, it is not real. I used to be afraid of the dark when I was growing up. And it's because I can sense things, feel things, hear things. I'm highly intuitive. I didn't understand what this was when I was younger. And as I grew older, my mom, like my family, wouldn't even share with me what that was because... She didn't understand what it was. She thought it was the devil, right? And anytime I dabbled in mystical or magical things, um, I was forbidden to do that because I was told that it's devil energy. You should never look into that because it's terrible and bad. But I don't feel like I'm doing anything terrible and bad. I feel like I'm moving into this energy. I'm moving with the fl flow and the rhythm of life by kind of dabbling into the darkness. And I feel it's really important to... Um, balance our light and dark parts of ourselves to work with our shadows they're meant to work in unison and this is where the justice is coming in and perhaps some of you are going through this realization in your life's experience where it's like okay you know what I am who I am and it's now time for me to embrace that version of me like that unique true version yes I've been through a lot of different um experiences in my life good or bad we all have gone through ups and downs we all have a story but that story is uniquely ours that's what shapes us 
that that's what makes us who we are. So rather than our story being something that isn't a, a, a good experience, like if, sorry, I feel sometimes we, we, um, so I'm getting like Batman and Joker. So I feel they're the exact same person that had the exact experience in life. One chose to embrace the energy of the negative, the dark, and the other embraces it as light. And for Batman, he took that energy and these fears and things that he went through and turned it into a symbol, which was of a bat, which is a symbol of hope. And this person was still rejected from society. You know, he's gone through all his ups and downs and Joker is fully embracing his dark side. And anytime he shares a story, it's a negative story of his upbringing and the experiences that he had, right? So this is where spirit wants you to um, share your story in the energy of light. Everything that has happened to you, everything that you have gone through has strengthened you. It's a part of the reason why you're here, right? And even in my own life, I've gone through many different struggles and had anything, even a slight little thing gone differently, I wouldn't be here in front of you today. So there's a purpose and reason behind everything that is happening in your life. I want you to have trust. I want you to have faith, walk the path of faith and know that everything's happening um, as it should be happening. You have the strength to get through all of that. Okay. You have the power to do that, but you have to allow yourself to, um, surrender to you know whatever it is that you're going through right now in order to see the bigger picture in order to connect with what is actually happening and um, free yourself from any kind of weight like I just feel like someone's holding on to weight or feeling like you're running and you're being chased right like you're, you don't have to run you don't there is no fear it's just an illusion so working on releasing that fear and instead turning that fear into your greatest strength very very powerful stuff labyrinth mandela maze all of these things and i don't know i just feel you'll have to share with me know that there's a lot of light there's a lot of abundance in your life a lot of knowledge a lot of um intuition you're connected right these are such positive cards here and all of these are very positive cards you're going to have a positive experience if you already aren't and they want you to stay in tune with that frequency of abundance that frequency of love all right so um, the other thing I'm getting here is the number 10 coming through. So some of you might be seeing the number 10s. Um, what else am I getting here? I'm getting some names popping up. They've been popping up throughout the reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them at the front of the screen or throughout the reading here. Whatever pops in, I'm going to put it on the screen for you. Just throughout, this, throughout the reading, you're going to see things popping up here. So into the lonely woods, let's see what it is that Spirit wants to share with you through this card deck. So to walk the lonesome road, the number one here, to walk the lonesome road. Look at that. We've got this person with a crow. We've got a butterfly. This could be a raven and uh, they're alone on this path and perhaps they don't know where they're going. I feel like this is either the crescent moon or the new moon in the image here. So let's take a look and see what it is that spirit wants to share with you through this card. All right, now that I found this page, to walk the lonesome road. Foolish, they say, to walk this strange path. Loneliness will become your only companion, they say, as you take those steps on the lonesome road to your own self. This is not adventure, no indulgence, no needless seeking. This is a pilgrimage of the soul and the time you spend on the path you have chosen, which truly has chosen you, may make you weary. And there could be doubt and there will be moments where your only companion is the voice inside your head. And that is the point. That is the point. For when you hear that voice clearly for almost the first time, listen. Speak with it. See what you have been saying to yourself. And with each footstep, watch the words become more encouraging, loving, and filled with self-love. So it is so important that you focus on your self-love nurture your soul here everyone this is why some of you are in this place of loneliness this place of solitude okay it's because you're meant to learn more about yourself get to know yourself your inner voice okay so let's go ahead and pull three uh, personal messages for you so this is where i ask you to pause the video take a deep breath connect to spirit and then come back to receive these messages so your first message today is breaking news focus on the now 
We often forget to live in the present because we are too busy dwelling on the past and worrying about the future. Spirit says to remain in the present moment at all times. Let go of the past, let go of the future. Stay in this present moment. This is how you get out of the maze. So focus on the now. We often forget to live in the present because we are too busy dwelling on the past and worrying about the future. Spirit says to remain in the present moment at all times. All right, your second message today is, in other news, Spirit wants you to allow love into your life. The door of love and romance is open for you. Let your guard down and welcome it. Spirit says you deserve it. So look at that. Spirit wants you to allow love into your life. The door of love and romance is open for you. Let your guard down and welcome it. Spirit says you deserve it. So sometimes we have guards up that are so, so high we can't even see over them. They want you to drop them down just a little bit to allow that love in because you just never know what might happen with that love, everyone. Your third message is breaking news. Spirit says it is time to stand and speak up for yourself. Understand that you are not a doormat for people to walk and talk over. Neither do you deserve to be, to be treated as such. Remember that you have the power to say no more. So once again, Spirit says it's time to stand up and speak up for yourself. Understand that you are not a doormat for people to walk and talk over. Neither do you deserve it to be neither do you deserve to be treated as such. Remember that you have the power to say no more. So look at that. And let's now pull an angel number to close off this reading. So let's see what we get here. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So sacred match, 222. Two, two. If you're seeing these numbers in this sequence, this is a confirmation that you're going to experience a sacred match. Now this could be to a person, a sacred match with a person. This could be a match um, in alignment with the career. This could be with some sort of opportunity, a synchronicity, an alignment that is happening. So the message here is you are vibrating in harmony right now, okay? There's a collaboration on the way here. Keep going, create some balance. It's also time to start planting seeds in your life and a union. There's a sacred union that is about to happen here as well. Something is coming together for you, everyone. So this is your message. This is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching. All right, everyone, I'm super excited to announce to you that my sister-in-law Katomi has put together her Christmas ritual box. Now, these are available right now. I have the link for these in the description box below. This is a protection box. There is a purpose behind this. It's going to come with full instructions on how to use this kit. It comes with two candles. Each of these candles have a stone. One of the candles actually have a tassel, okay? The stones in these candles are going to be consecrated, so you're you're going to put intentions in these candles and you're going to be able to carry these stones around you after the fact. Now, there's only a limited supply of these, everyone. So the deadline for these, the last one you can order is on December the 5th. And we wanted to get these out early because last year we sold out of them. So again, secure yours today. I've got the link for these in the description box below.